There are five new African elephants at the Dallas Zoo, but this morning's arrival has some animal rights activists upset. They are part of a shipment of 17 elephants imported from Swaziland with some tight security. Fox News' Lori Brown is at the Dallas Zoo right now with more. Lori. Steve, the elephants are under a mandatory quarantine here at the Dallas Zoo, so we can't see them just yet. But we are told that all five elephants have decided to venture out of their crates after their very long 25-hour plane flight. Here is a photo of one of the Dallas Zoo's newest residents. The elephants arrived from Swaziland as part of a rescue mission for the 17 elephants that have been living in the African country's national park. We're now giving them, you know, good solid hay and, and uh, apples and carrots and, and, and water that they need to get them back to 100% strength. After the long flight, five of the elephants were taken to the Dallas Zoo on flatbed trucks with a significant police escort. Each elephant weighs about 8,000 pounds. The rest of the elephants went on to zoos in Omaha and Wichita. The CEO of the Dallas Zoo said the security was not due to the vehement opposition from animal rights activists. Uh, this was a, a very large transport, not only um, the, the animals that came here, five elephants, that's a lot. Uh, the most we'd ever had come here to the zoo at one time was two. One group sued to try to keep the animals in the wild. The Animal Legal Defense Fund said forcing them to live in tiny enclosures has nothing to do with legitimate conservation and everything to do with selling tickets. But Greg Hudson says Swaziland would have euthanized the elephants because of the severe drought conditions in their national park. And they're losing literally hundreds of thousands of, of wildlife animals th during this drought. Here, there's two more over there. After the 30-day quarantine, there will be a total of nine elephants at the Dallas Zoo. Zoogoers we talked with support the rescue effort. If they were at, in, at risk, then definitely why wouldn't you want to save them? I guess your food bill just more than doubled. Yeah, well, you know, the, the thing about that is we've been, we've been feeding the elephants in Swaziland for a while. So, uh, truthfully, it's going to be easier for us to feed them here than it was there. So, uh, but we're still going to have long-term support to Swaziland. After the 30-day quarantine, the zoo's CEO says that they will let the elephants decide when they are ready to meet the zoo's other long-time elephant residents. Steve. Roy Brown of the Dallas Zoo in Oak Cliff, thank you.